Hi, bud. It's 11.13 a.m. and I'm still working on yesterday's vlog. I've been trying to figure out when the best time to edit these vlogs are because I'm having a really hard time doing it at night. I just get loopy and weird and I don't know what's up and what's down and I figure it's not very good to be editing at that time. So I'm like, you know what, I'll go to bed early and then I'll wake up early. And today I got a really late start. So okay, we gotta figure this out because uh, I can't be letting these vlogs creep in all the way until noon like this every day. That's half the day. I've got a lot to do. I like to have the vlog posted by like 8 a.m. every day and then I can just go about my regular day. But we'll get there. I'm not worried about it. We got this. There we go. My uh, edge paint roller was all mucked up and wouldn't roll and if it doesn't roll it doesn't do the job. All right you guys I'm in kind of a pickle. I, I just decided I wanted to try and finish up these uh, black card holders today and as I started filming I'm realizing how hard it is to get unique different refreshing content when you're filming the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I literally just posted a video of making the card holders and so the process is the same. I'm still uh, burnishing painting edges, sewing, it's all the same stuff. But yeah I'm gonna have to get creative and start getting some uh, really unique shots or thinking of ways to kind of mix things up even on days when I have to do pretty much the same thing over and over again. But I'll tell you something, right now, I gotta head to the UPS store because we had one order, it was an international order that kept having issues, it wasn't making it to the address, it got sent back to us. I feel terrible for the customer because it's been like over a month since they ordered. For some reason our shipping software won't allow us to print a label for DHL. The page just won't load after you print the label. It's just a weird situation. So I'm going down to the UPS store before they close and see if I can get this thing in the mail with the correct address, see if we can get this thing out of here. I'm so tempted at times to just cut the cord with the international orders and only do US because we spend a lot of time and effort and energy trying to fix uh, uh, international orders. We got, we're getting a phone call. Hello? You wanted me to bring what? She wants to see if you'll bring your little vacuum in for her to vacuum for a little bit. Oh, the old dust buster. Okay, I'll bring it in. You ready to go to the UPS store? We're ready. Well, let's ride. Okay, I'm coming in. Love you, bye. Okay, love you, bye. All right, you little card holders. I'll see you when we get back. We need to start training Indy to be able to go into the UPS store and handle our international orders. You want to go in and do it no. by, by yourself? No, I can't reach. You can't reach? <laughs> uh, it's well, we'll just get a footstool. We'll have you bring in your stool. We'll pack it on your back. Does that sound good? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're here at the UPS store. Let's go get this thing dealt with. Woo! I'm glad that's over with. Holy smokes. This one package going to Norway just about got the best of us. We love all of our international orders, but it's expensive and it causes a lot of issues. Really frustrating. Especially for this one. But we got that one out the door. I hope it arrives. We'll find out in 22 to 46 days. <laughs> Kidding. Hopefully four to seven days. Go home. Starving. Gotta go make dinner. All right, back in the shop. Let's get these wallets done. <laughs> Wild. This guy's brought me a popsicle. Oh, cheers. Dink it, dink it, and sink it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna let these card holders dry for a little bit. I got the edges all inked up. Looking good. It's time to read some comments. Great video as always, fun and more fun. That's by Cowboy Leather and Shoe Repair. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna shorten this one up a bit, but uh, this is by CJ McGee. He said, hey man, I just wanna let you know that I discovered your products about six months ago and felt genuinely inspired to start crafting. Yes! Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the inspiration and hopefully the start of a lifelong hobby. Nice, keep it up CJ, that's awesome. Rick Robinson said, by far my favorite leather work channel. Yes! Woo! Thank you, Rick. That means so much. <laughs> okay, I gotta address this one. 
OTM646 said bevel does not equal bezel with a laughing emoji. Like I don't, I don't need to prove anything, but I just, I gotta give my answer there. This is the definition on dictionary.com. Bezel, the diagonal face at the end of the blade of a chisel or the like leading to the edge. Okay, I may not know a lot, but I know that that was the right usage of that word. <laughs> but thanks for keeping me on my toes. Fat Tran said, I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Fat Tran. Kian's MTB channel, awesome video. Thank you so much. Ah, you guys are just so awesome. Thank you so much. This community is what it's all about. This would be nothing. I would be completely wasting my time out here if it weren't for you guys. So thank you so much. I'm gonna wrap up these four black number 54 card holders and add them to the site. So go check the inventory, they'll be there. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys had a good one and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.